Hey, hey, it's Greggles. Just wanted to do a video on motivation, right? Because we did a little poll in the group and motivation and discipline became, you know, seen as the biggest issues, your biggest challenge to getting results, right? So I wanted to dive into it and I wanted to explain step by step how I see my best clients get results and whether it's motivation or not. Okay, so give it two seconds. Is that Arch? Hey Ninja, how are you? Cool. Right, I think I'm ready to go. So, motivation. First of all, um, one of the things I see in the, con, the whole fitness thing, and I've been around it for a while now, is Motivation Monday, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And the honest truth is, is that motivation is BS. I'll say it again. Motivation is BS, okay? Like all words is made up. Um, and here's what I find actually works better. Commitment, okay? So we often talk about, right, I'm not motivated, etc. But the question I think most people need to ask themselves are, what are you committed to? Now, that's a whole different question, right? So, you might not be motivated to train this morning or whenever you got to train or you might not be motivated to track your calories or to eat more vegetables, but that then just says that you're committed to staying the way you are. And do you know what? That's not a bad thing. That's okay. That's cool. It's... The challenge is, is when it starts to become uncomfortable, right? It's it's um, that the feelings that you get when you try on your clothes, when you get sick often, when you can't concentrate on your work, when you're always tired, you don't have energy to play the kids, and all that kind of stuff. That's when it becomes a problem. And then you have to think, well, am I committing to staying you know, without energy, without health? Um, you know, clothes don't feel good, I don't feel energised, I don't feel confident. Or are you going to commit to the stuff that actually means that you're going to feel energised, you're going to feel attractive, you're going to feel happier within yourself? Because that's why motivation doesn't work. Motivation is like a beautiful woman, right? I, I imagine it's a bit like I see Jennifer Lopez down the road and then she's gone again. Yeah, and that's what motivation is like. It comes and it goes. It, it's there one minute, it's not there the next minute, okay? But the question then becomes is, what are you committed to? So, honestly, my best clients, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a couple of case studies. So, um, let's just say, I've got a lady called Eileen. She is 58 now, okay? Um, and she's down over 20 pounds. She's stronger, fitter healthier than she has ever been before. The reason is, is she's committed to train three times a week. She's committed to, you know, watch uh, nutrition and manage her stress, not drink as much. And she's committed to having me go, oi, what are you doing? Because what I found is whenever I get the best results is when I invest either time or money into these things. And Money and time are big motivators because they're the things that, you know, are definitely finite. And I find that my best clients are the ones who just commit. Um, I've got another client. Uh, I've got too many examples. Um, so let's just use Gita, for example. Um, 30 pounds down plus, 30 pounds plus down. Um, because again, she's committed to strength train three times a week. She's committed to not eating as much junk as she used to. She's committed to drinking less wine. She's committed to have it, you know, to showing up. So that's where the issue comes up. The issue isn't about motivation because there's going to be days when even my best, even I have days when I'm like, do you know what? I cannot be asked to train. I'm like, seriously? <laughs> I'm like, training? Nah, meh not training today, I don't want to train, but I'm committed to the feeling, um, I'm committed to the feeling of feeling energised, I'm committed to the feeling of 
Um, I want some muscles. I'm committed to the feeling of feeling attractive. Hey, if if I'm not if I'm not training regularly and I'm not eating properly, I don't feel as attractive. Um, and guess what happens then? My work. So I have a business. So my work goes down. The quality of my work goes down. My sleep goes down. My relationships with my friends and my family all go down when I am feeling poorly and crap and I'm not training and I'm not doing the things that I say I want. Um, so that's what it comes down to, ladies. It's not, it's not whether you're, I'm not motivated to change. It's what are you committed to? Okay. And I think that's a different question that people need to ask more. So a couple of things to help you get committed. One, ask yourself that question. Like, uh, am I committed to feeling the way that I feel now? Am I committed to the health that I've got? Am I committed to the pain that I've got? Am I committed to the um, to the feelings that I have, etc.? What am I committing to? Because if you're always vocalising those things, oh, I feel fat, or you, you're committing to that feeling. It, it's crazy, right? But you're committing to that feeling. Or you're going to say, right, I'm going to commit to be healthier. I'm going to commit to eat, eat less junk. I'm going to commit to, yeah. So there's going to be days when you're not going to feel like it and that's okay. Number two, get some accountability. I don't care whether you hire a coach, someone like me, or you get PT or whatever you decide to do, but get committed. Like get a friend who you know is not going to take your BS and get them to keep you on track. Like they'll be the person who goes, you know, get to gym light today. Um, had a message from um, Miss 360, aka Tammy Thomas, and the message was, yeah, she wants to train today. And I couldn't train because I'm broken from my session yesterday. I'm a little bit sore, so I'm having a rest day. But she's not taking my BS and I don't take hers. So therefore, we're going to make sure we get a session in this week. Yeah, so it's about that commitment and having someone to keep you accountable. Um, number three. Commitment is about doing it as much as you want to hit the goal. And it's a case of, well, if the goal is that important, yeah, you'll do the work. So people need to get emotional with these goals. Like, you don't just want to lose weight. What you want to do is you want to get to a size, I don't know, 14, 16 or whatever, or size 12 or whatever in X amount of days, weeks, whatever it is because of the feeling it gives you, not because you wanna look good for your mates. No, it's never about that, it's about how you feel, it's about how you walk into a room, it's about how you how you move, you know, the swagger that it brings to you, the, the swagger it, it brings to your relationship. That's what you want, that's what you crave. But until you're willing to admit the emotional side of what's going on in your mind and body, nothing's gonna change. So as I always tell my clients, know your why, know the reason why, you want to change if that's what you want. If you don't want to change, that's okay too. But know the reason that you want to change, yeah? Um, so there's nothing wrong with that. Number four, if you can't afford a PT, can't afford a good coach, then join a group, yeah? There's, look, there are walking groups. There are, um, you know, all sorts of healthy eating groups around that are free. But again, it takes commitment. It takes you to say, well, of my allotted 24 hours, I'm going to spend this much of time doing things with people that are committed to their own health. Same as me, I will make sure that I get two climbing sessions in a week. Yeah, they're, they're about my health and my fitness, but it's about me committing that time to it because I value it. And yeah, I guess number five is understanding your values. Like, what do you really value? If you really value something, you'll find a way to get it done. So it's really simple. So ladies, motivation isn't a thing. Um, we need to kind of dismiss that word. I think it's a case of you need to commit to what you um, really want to happen in your life. And it's about, as uh, Les Brown would say, commit to your commitments. Yeah, that's what it's about. Got to commit to your commitments. Um, and you got to remember that what you do each day is what you commit to very simple it's the same as going to work if you're committed to going to work you're not necessarily motivated to it but you're committed to it because of the consequence it gives you money right so you can spend and live and all the rest of it um but if you're committed to you know staying at work late all the time but not getting anything 
of value from it, you're just getting more tired, the work never goes away. And then the question you have to ask yourself is, what am I really committing to? Okay, so there you go. Motivation, discipline, all done. Talk soon, guys.